the first thing you're going to do is click on the VoiceThread link within the Blackboard folder and then you're going to see a message and uh, it's going to say that it will launch in a new window. So you're basically just going to kind of follow the commands there and uh, kind of do what it tells you to do. And I would recommend once you get to this particular spot that you say open in a new tab. That way you still maintain the Blackboard tab at the top, um, which you can see up here, and you can kind of navigate between the two if you need to. So right now we're in the VoiceThread tab, and I'm going to click on the actual slide image, and that will then display the entire slide um, so you'll see uh, you'll see the image of it and what you're going to do the first one is just the the main slide you're going to navigate to the second so slide by clicking the advanced button down here in the lower right and that will take you to the second one and for each of the four subsequent slides two three four and five you're going to actually add a comment to the slide and you do that by clicking the plus down here and it gives you four choices. The ABC allows you to type a text comment. The microphone allows you to record an audio comment using your computer's microphone. You can also record via uh, your webcam or if you have already saved a comment as a text file someplace, you can upload that comment. So I'm going to start just with the text. So I click the ABC. It tells me to type a comment below. Um, obviously this is not a very good comment, but you type it in, you hit save, and it saves it to that slide. It will post um, either your name or if you've uploaded your image to your Blackboard account, it will have that in there. And it does allow you to make some changes to the text, but I wouldn't worry about that for now. Just kind of keep that as it is. And uh, then I'm going to navigate to the second slide, or the third slide, and we're going to add another comment, but this time we're going to add it through the microphone. So I'm just going to click the microphone. I get a little message saying that uh, the application wants to use my microphone I just say allow it gives me a countdown and now it is recording um, we can see on the bottom of the screen that it is active and so I'm ready to stop I just click stop recording and it renders it for just a, a couple of seconds depending on the length So you can hear it played back. It does that automatically as well. And if you're satisfied with it, you can click the Save button. Um, one note on that is I have established the settings so that your, your audio recording can be no longer than 30 seconds. So to replay it, you would just click on your icon over here on the side, and that would do it. Um, we can advance to the next slide as well. Um, and again, if you wanted to comment this time with the webcam, it basically is going to be pretty similar to the microphone. Click allow, gives you a countdown. Now you can see my microphone or my webcam is live. Um, so it's recording. I'm going to stop right away. And it again is rendering. And then I hit save on that. So again, very similar. It does allow you to erase anything that's there. So if you wanted to re-record, you can do that at any time. So after you finish adding your comments to the last slide, you can click the X up here in the upper right hand corner. And that returns you back to the main VoiceThread home where you should be finished.